All right, so let's get to story time. We've got USC going to Notre Dame. Of course, and you will see this time and time again. I, I think Fox is going there for their pregame show. So we got Brady Quinn, Matt Leiner, the whole thing. Well, when they played that game, the Bush push game, that was my first year on the staff of USC. We had this amazing game. Remember, this is Charlie Weiss, his famous press conference where he's going to give Notre Dame the schematic advantage because of his intellect around the game. And here you had Pete Carroll, who they've crossed over at times in the NFL. And it was just a huge stage. We had won, I don't know, 30 some games in a row at the time on our way to go compete for a third straight national championship. And the game happens and it's going back and forth and back and forth. It's an epic game. Well, it comes down to fourth and nine, as everybody knows. Liner gets to the line of scrimmage and he audibles. Check 82 stay, red 82 stay. And that's Sluggo win, one of my favorite plays. If you love football, you know that that play right there is that game winning play from that game. And he throws a slant and go to Dwayne Jarrett. And as Dwayne catches it, like literally centimeters, the ball goes centimeters over the DB's fingertips. Everybody's going crazy. Go, go, go. Now, my job as a coach, I was like the scribe up in the booth. So Lane Kiffin, our offensive coordinator, him and Sark, co sees Steve Sarkeesian. They are uh, you know, saying what the play is. And my job is to write the play down, read the coverage, write the coverage down. And then at the end of the series, I give Lane the piece of paper so he could review what just happened. What was the play call, what the front was, what the coverage was, and eventually what the result was. Well, this play happens and Dwayne catches it. I helped with the receivers, so I'm even more ju juiced up. I jump up into the coach's booth, like everybody. I mean, it's full elation. Go, 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 go. And there's this tiny little square TV like right up here to the right of me uh, on this video. And same deal in the right corner of their coach's booth. And I jump up like this and punch the TV. It ends up breaking, falls off of its little whatever it was, the thing that held the TV up. Totally smashes. There's papers everywhere. Absolute pandemonium. And Dwayne gets caught. And then, of course, a couple of plays later, we have the Bush push. So as that's happening, I'm, of course, trying to organize all these papers. But eventually, you just say, yeah, whatever. And uh, you're human. I know coaches sometimes love being poised. And Coach Carroll was so, he was the definition of poison that game on the sideline. But I definitely wasn't. Our booth definitely wasn't. And fun little story about, felt like I broke my hand that evening in South Bend. But it was worth it. And I'd imagine if it comes down to a tight game again, that young coach up in the booth would say the same thing.